grinder. Yes. Stuart. Oh. Stuart. Oh. Oh. I was having the most amazing dream. Oh, and you were there. And you were there. And you were there. Oh, it was heaven. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu from UAV Futures here. And today, well, it is time to cut that cord. What we're talking about, you sim pilots out there, don't you hate it when you're cruising around, your sim's feeling good, uh, but suddenly your phone rings, someone's at the door, or your dog's thrown up on the carpet, you jump up, you go to run away and try to sort some stuff out, but uh, your USB is still plugged in, and you basically almost rip the sim cable out of the computer, causing some damage today. We're aiming to fix that. What we're talking about, it is the squid stick, an absolute essential accessory for a lot of FPV, FPV pilots who spend a lot of time on the sim. The squid stick, it binds up natively to ELRS. It's very easy to get set up and get going. And the beauty is you plug this into your computer, boom, Bob's your uncle. You can then bind your radio straight to this USB stick and then you can control your sims wirelessly from wherever you want. Now, it's very easy to use. I'm gonna show you how to set it up in just a minute. But uh, look, check this out. Hopefully this is gonna be in shot in the roof cam just to show you that it is connected. I'm plugging it in. Hopefully we should get some, uh, telemetry recovered. there we go, we've got some telemetry right there. So these, they are now bound, they're talking to each other. Unplug it, we should get some telemetry lost. Telemetry lost. There we go, it is so easy to get set up and get working. Now today I thought, how can I push this to its limits? So the way that we're gonna do this, we're gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna plug this into my computer, I'm gonna get it talking to my SIM, and then we're gonna send the signal through my house and another signal using Steam Link down to the projector down. Anyway, we're basically doing a whole bunch of cool tech stuff so we can fly this around on the big screen. But let's do that now, let's jump out. Uh, I'll show you how to set it up on the computer upstairs and then we'll have some fun. And then we'll talk about some pros and cons, who this is for, and also some things you might need to know before you go and order these ones because I do think they're about 40 bucks. Uh, check the link down below. There might also be a coupon code or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about it, have some fun, and just generally uh, have a good time for you sim people out there. So let's do it. Jump upstairs before we jump back in three, two, one. All right, excuse the mess. I'm going to plug the squid stick into the top of my computer. It is so easy to get set up. Uh, I'm going to open up my Express LRS configurator and then what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to flash it to the same target as your radio. So for me, uh, you go down here, it's going to be under gen generic USB targets and we just go to this one right here, 82, 85. Make sure that your binding phrase is set to whatever your radio is and then you can go down and click flash and then Bob's your uncle, you are ready and set up to go flying. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that we're about to do that right now. If you leave your squid stick plugged in, uh, it's probably going to enter USB. Just let me fix up my radio uh, right here. Got my daughter behind me right here talking about the camera. Um, she's uh, itching to have a go on the drone sim. As soon as I came upstairs, she saw this. She said, hey, can I have a go? I said, yep, sure, we're going to do that. Um, if it doesn't bind straight away, it might have gone into Wi-Fi mode. So after you flash that, you can simply, oh no, we're, ours is ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. We're going to open up our lift off right here. Click play. And once we're up and flying, uh, I'm going to show you how responsive it is. And also we'll hand over to my daughter who's been practicing her simming skills as well. Right here, what I do want to show is if we go under controls, uh, right here, here's where I could figure it in lift off. If you don't have a sim key, not for liftoff, but put a comment down below and I'll try and respond to anybody who doesn't have a SIM key. Uh, I'll try and put as many as I can in the comments down below. Just make sure you're quick to check them. Um, but here you can see everything on our radio is corresponding to the way that we want to fly. So let's do it, have some fun and uh, practice our skills. So uh, I think I did have mine set up that camera angle. Let's change this down a little bit there. That should be a little bit easier. Do you remember how to fly? It's been a little while. I think so, yeah. This is up. Yeah, oh, it no, is. is. No, up. no, the other one was up. Yep, that's up. This Let's see if you can go forwards. forwards. Now you're in acro mode at the moment. See if you can pull back a little, otherwise you're gonna hit the ground. Pull back, there you go. See if, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like flying. I just like doing lift a little. Okay, you're doing a few yaw spins right there. 
See if you can go towards the, um, can you do a turn? See if you can find, you're going up too high, Missy. Hmm. Turn back hey, now. it's saying turn back. Oh, too late. Yeah. All right, see if you can fly over to the barn. That's what I want you to practice on. So you're going to have to go up, oh, throttle all the way down, and now you're good to go. Up a little, on the throttle, the other side. There you go, fly over to the barn. Tilt forward, tilt forward. Other one forward, oh my gosh, where are you going? <laughs> Down, down. All right, all right. Make sure you don't hit the ground. Don't crash your expensive train. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Through the trees. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Here, let's let give give me a little little go so you can see uh, everything you need to do. Let's pitch forward just a little bit, and I've set up a couple of different buttons to change the camera angles, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. A great little way to use your radio, but wirelessly on your Sims. Alright, are you going to keep practicing for a yeah, while? Yeah, I'm going to go down into the water. Okay, that doesn't sound good for drones. <laughs> and I've got to wait until I get across it. Okay, and then what's going to happen? Down! Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rightio, so there it is. There was my little setup guide on the squid stick. A couple of different colors, very cool. I love how easy it is. I do like the LED lights on there just to let me know, hey, it's actually working. It's very easy to visually look over. Uh, if you are getting some telemetry warnings, you can turn that off in your radio if you wanna get rid of that, if you're sick of like telemetry lost or telemetry recovered or anything like that. And you might come across those depending on how far you wanna push the range. Now, a spoiler alert, I actually had to use this little USB extender lead to extend mine about an extra meter uh, because it could not penetrate, I guess, the entire distance of my house. So don't expect crazy ELRS range uh, with this thing. I do think you're gonna get better range than Bluetooth, um, but it's, it's not, it's not gonna be like, you're not gonna be simming to the other side of the field or anything like that. I don't know why you'd want to, but look, that's not gonna be the case. The other part as well, I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, Stuart, why don't I just try and use Bluetooth on some of my radios that support that? And the answer is, I think this has better range than Bluetooth and also because it is rocking Edge TX and you can set so much stuff up here and it acts like a native receiver, uh, you can do a lot of cool programming. Maybe if you're into fixed wing or some things like that, you have a lot more I guess, uh, functionality if you need that in the future. And I also think the refresh rates are a little bit better as well. However, I didn't notice any lag on this, but don't quote me on that. I'm sure someone with a bit more scientific, deep dive computer knowledge uh, can look into that. Maybe if you can put that down below in the comments. And then the final part, well, for 40 bucks, uh, is it worth it? And the answer, it depends how much you sim. If you think, man, for the price of a couple of batteries or uh, maybe a frame or something like that, I'm on the sim all the time. This thing, it looks cool. It's easy to get set up and get using. Uh, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. Or maybe you're just somebody who really hasn't done much simming. You prefer to do some whooping or something like that. Well, I'd say if it doesn't bother you using the USB cord, use what you've got. There's, there's no problem when doing that. Look, and I'm sure these guys would prefer that you bought something from their store and go check out the squid stick. But I wanna make it very clear. If you're happy simming around with a USB cable, go for it. The important part is you're all having fun, you're all learning new skills and pushing the boundaries of FPV, and that's what we're all about on UAV Futures. But if you do think that this thing looks like something you'd want, the link is gonna be down below. Uh, it's got a couple of different colors. I really like it. We've got Brain 3D as well there, who's helped them design some things, and I say thumbs up. I really like it. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to check here, and I'm sorry, because I've been playing around with my squid stick for a little while. That almost sounds inappropriate, but if you've watched this far, uh, maybe over on my Patreon, if I have a second one, I believe I've got a black one around here somewhere, uh, I'm gonna see if I can send that out to you guys over on Patreon, so I don't know. If I find that, check check over there, that should be coming out soon as well. Other than that, subscribe for more FBV related, relate, re, I'm having a stroke, related content. Uh, most importantly, be kind to yourself because you deserve it. I'm really glad you're here. You guys are special. Thank you so much, and as always, Happy flying. Whew. All right, let's go back to the sim.